We're gonna back up a little bit because the shark's here, Justin. You're trying to get that fish in, whatever you can do. Yeah, we gotta land it. All right, guys. Out here in Stewart, Justin's hooked up already. Not sure what's going on quite yet. Uh oh. I don't know what Backing he's got, again. guys. I mean, literally, he put a bait out. I was just put mine out, and he's like, I'm on. Like, and we haven't had anything set up yet, nothing ready to go. We just started fishing five seconds ago. <laughs> Pretty crazy. All right, we're gonna back up a little bit, and there we go. No. The sharks? Yep. All right, that's what we're afraid of here. That's what I mentioned. We need heavy drag and no fooling around. No fooling around. I don't All right, so welcome to the show. Locked. It's just off shore. I'm Pudding. That's Darcy. Woo! That's our friend Justin. Yes, out of Stewart, Florida today. Let's see what we can get into. I'm going to start selling these hooks. Five dollars a piece. Bates nervous. Bates nervous. Bates and nervous. And he's gone. He's gone? Yep. <laughs> All right, one or two more times of that. and Maybe I'll reset. Or just Wind. Oh, come on, it's not that cold. It's a north wind, man. You need I'm to eat cold more food. and there's no freaking sun. You're too skinny. No sun. Something small? All right, Justin's got a fish. Moved out to the six mile reef. Darcy's been telling me she's getting bites, but she's not. <laughs> Justin's got a, I am. a runner. Runner coming up. I Pit him off. Hit. All right, no fish yet. Still, wind's a little stronger than we thought it was going to be. Not that many boats out Sunday morning here. It's actually really nice out here, other than I'm a little cold. She was just complaining how cold she was. I'm she was crying freezing. about it. Like, I have goosebumps on my legs. Eat more sandwiches. I'm warm as hell. Woo -hoo. All right, for your updates, pretty, got pretty windy, windier than we thought it would today. What is it blowing? 15 out here, Sizzles? 20? At least 20. We got 15. zero, yeah. We got zero current close to shore, so we got to come out a little further. And of course, that's where it's windier because it's a pretty strong northwest wind. Yes. So we're about the limits of where the current starts and the wind is too high for me on our boat. Got a sporty parked right next to us. So uh, we're doing the best we can. No fish in the boat yet. That's all we can do. Justin had that nice fish earlier, and that was about it. <laughs> <laughs> We got this boy. Hopefully, this guy knows what he's doing. So he's right next to us. Yes. I think the problem is you kill too many fish in the backyard. And then we come out here, and Jesus no. doesn't want you to kill any more fish. No. Uh huh. Mm. You know, Justin, all the fish you kill? Those are invasive. She kills so many fish in the backyard. Invasive fish. But every 15 minutes, I got to make sure Darcy's like at work. But she, she's not in the house. I look all around. When I go outside. She's hiding under a tree. Stalking a snakehead for fucking half an hour. <laughs> so, she's not even. She's not even saying it's not true because it's only totally factual. Yes, but I've been doing that like for a week now. Good job. All right, Darcy has a kingfish on. Oh boy. All right, first big first fish of the day. You had, I had a wire trace and a treble hook, and, and just a, a pinfish. I mean a pilchard. My rod is out on the other side. I will tell you. I got it. Yeah, lift it up high. So you don't want to put too much, too much drag on this because you it's a small hook, the treble hook again. Nice and easy, Sizzle. Kingish, kudaish, kuda. Kuda? I think so. I'm wrapped on another line. Yeah, that's the other line. Okay. King. We'll take him. You can use a small one if you want. Yeah. Oh, God. We're gonna, it's okay, oh god, there's another one trying Kuda's trying to eat him. Oh, Look yeah. at the Kuda trying to chase him right now. Yeah, yeah. Look at this. Look yeah, at I this. See him. Oh, hooked in the peck fin. We got lucky there. Oh, he got hit. He got oh, tagged. Yeah, he got tagged by that Kuda. Oh my gosh, he's freaking Kudas. He got tagged. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good job. Right there at the top of the surface. We got a fish in the boat! Woo! Woo! Finally! Broke the skunk off. I can't believe those kudas are messing with the fish their size. It's kind of crazy. Where's that trouble in him? What's that? <laughs> it's in his peck. See him right there in his peck fin. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Yeah. So the trouble to this peck was exactly the reason that we use like drag on those kingfish because they bite the tail and then they come around and bite the fish the rest of the fish, and a lot of times that's going to get your stinger rig or just your treble hook in this position, in this time, they're going to foul hook them somehow. So you got to use light drag to bring them in. That's how you kingfish. Anyone will tell you that. There you go. All right, there he is. There's nice. our kingfish. 
You can see that big old chunk taken out by a CUDA. So funny. Yeah. I've never really, never really seen that. Like, CUDA is was about the same size as this kingfish. Uh, hey, sizzle. He can get it. All right, we got Justin hooked up. Hooked up, baby. Coming All right, right in. All right, we got Justin hooked up. What do you got? What do you got, Justin? What do you got? Woo, he's on the surface. Darcy, while, while we're waiting for Justin reeling this yes. fish, do you, you want to tell everyone uh, who's Brian rod this is, is whose idea and everything. all the fish all right, today. All right, all right. He's like smoking right. us. I working much full credit to Brian. All right, all right. For real. True. That wire trace is killing it. I don't honestly don't know how because it's wire. Because it's cookie and fish. I'm fishing fluoro, straight fluoro. Is that thing coming at you? Swimming right at the boat. Swimming right at fish. the boat. Swimming right at the boat. There it is. You want it? We'll take it for deep drop bait. Oh yeah. All right. Get him. All right. Yeah, buddy. Nice job, not too Brian. Shabby, not too shabby. Great job. Nice. High five, high five, <laughs> high five. Woo! Another fish in the boat. That's how you do it. Let's go. Whoa! He went for my leg. <laughs> let's go, let's All go. Right. Now, if you guys noticed when I, I don't know if you guys didn't notice, but I'm telling you what happened. Is my last fish, my last bait got had like a bite in the back of it, and they missed the hook. So then I put the, as you can see in this B roll, I put the hook in the middle of the fish. And uh, he got hooked. I don't know if that helped or anything, but it certainly didn't hurt. Now I got a fish. Nice job. Hold him up, handsome. This is Justin from Instagram fame. Yes. He's single, ladies. Very And he loves to fish. If you don't fish, forget it. All right. Good job. All right, guys. We're back at the house. Time to clean up our chewed up <laughs> kingfish, king mackerel. And we don't have them too often because we honestly like don't target them. But when they're fresh, they're excellent. Yeah, we just have so many here in the summer that we just catch them almost by accident. So, yeah. so uh, you know, this, and we, you know, that was a very slow day for fishing out there. And the south current and the weather front came through. And it's all the wrong conditions. Well, everything wrong for us. But, but uh, hopefully we'll pick up Springtime, and you gotta get out there, you know, when you can. Yeah. I mean, that's all you can do. And tomorrow's a new day. Like, you don't, you just don't know what right. happens out there. Things switch on a dime. And Putin has a brand new recipe for this kingfish. Isla Morada style. I've never done it before. It's gonna be really good, I think. It actually, I was looking at the recipe. It looks quite tasty. All kinds of good stuff in it. Right. Now, typically you're gonna take this fish and you're gonna smoke it. That's what most people will do. And you know, people like, you know, this is one of the fish in Florida we don't really eat too much. It's not like a favorite fish, because we have so much down here, right? Sizzle? I mean, yeah, like, I mean, a lot of people target these. We have a lot of commercial kingfish down, king, right. kingfishermen commercial. down here that actually target them and sell them. But like, for the most part, most of us who are locals, like we don't really go out there to target this fish just because they're so plentiful. There's so many of them and look full of row. That's what they're doing down here in the springtime, yeah. they're spawning. Full of row, I saw that full belly there. See, like I think that means less developed, like the lighter the, the color, color right. less developed and then as it gets more Because we saw some golden, crabs today that had a, a gray, Yes. Uh, they had gray eggs Yeah, so we were off orange. Correct, we were offshore yesterday and then we went and pulled our crab traps today, so stay tuned for that video. Um, and so now what we're gonna do is knock out these pin bones in the middle. You see all these pin bones? You want me to do that, Brian? Yes. All right, so we're just gonna. I don't wanna eat those. So we're gonna leave the skin on because yes. it. Yeah, cut that out too. Yes, because it's a very mushy type of meat. <laughs> yeah, yes. That might be another That's reason why you why smoke it a lot. A lot of us don't like it because it's just like a mushier meat or not our preference to eat. Um, so keeping the skin on is gonna leave it nice and intact. But this right. actually looks pretty tasty. It's pretty firm. And pretty firm for this kind of fish. I mean, it's always a grayer color to the meat. So yeah. that's normal, guys. But I am just cutting out this entire pin bone line. Now, Sizzle, I see, I see your necklace. Yes, I am wearing <laughs> a Spanish mackerel necklace, actually, the, in the mackerel family. I do not have a kingfish one, so I wear my Spanish mackerel, but it looks exactly the same. Do you have wahoo? All the mackerel. I do have wahoo as well. There you go. Um, I have a lot of mackerel species and all kinds of stuff on my store website, including these fish hook and anchor bracelets I'm wearing, but all kinds of cool stuff. If you guys are interested, check it out. They're all unisex necklaces, unisex bracelets for men, kids, your wife, girlfriend, whoever, <laughs> multiple girlfriends. Your wife okay. and your girlfriend. Okay, so now we're going to cut this out here. That's that chunk that was destroyed kind of by the uh, CUDA. Yeah. And honestly, I'm just gonna whack out that whole thing. Yeah, that's all right. I mean, whatever. Yeah, all on the side too. We'll feed the turtles in the canal with that. There you go. So we have this piece, this piece. Cut that one right there. And then we'll cut these in equal lengths or equal thicknesses. Good. Something like that. And now we're gonna have a tasty meal in the house. So I'm all just right. gonna knock out the rest of this stomach line, but you guys get the gist of it. So we'll meet in the house for the cooking. We'll put it in a portion of this video. Oh, and the link to the knives are down below as well.
All right, guys, welcome back to your favorite part of the show, cooking with pudding. I got my hat on and everything today. And as we said outside, today we're cooking something extra special. First time with this kingfish, kingfish Isla Morada style. Is that bunny rabbit making too much noise? We got a noisy bunny in here. I don't know if you guys can hear it. Anyway, come on down to us, Sizzle. Let's go over it real quick. First, we're cooking is kingfish. Now, we talked about outside how us real Floridians, real fishermen, don't like to eat this that much. That's because it looks like crap. Look how great it is. But we're going to make it tasty. I got breadcrumbs. We're going to coat it in mayonnaise, coat it in breadcrumbs, put it in a pan, and then we're going to make up a nice sauce. We got garlic, we got shallots, we got Italian seasonings, we got mushrooms, we got the best wine you can buy. We got a beautiful half a lime. What is this thing from your garden, Darcy? Garlic, garlic chives, chives instead, of, instead of chives. And then we're going to put some cheese on it. We're going to dress it up real good. And uh, we're just going to coat these up. This is going to lock in all the flavor, make it delicious. I've done this before, baking it before, but never like this. All right, I got a nice pan here, preheated, medium heat with some olive oil. Just gonna cook our fish three or four minutes on each side till it's done. Pretty much fully cooked, because it's going in the oven or the broiler, so a little, we don't want to overcook it, that's for sure. It's a little thicker than I'd like. All right, guys, they're cooking about four or five minutes on each side, testing with my fork. Just gonna transfer them to this pan. Quarter, quarter cup of oil, shallots, and our garlic, and we're gonna cook that up. Soften it up. Italian herbs, I'm just using basil, oregano, and parsley. Kind of making it up. The mushrooms. All right, a little wine. A little lime juice. And a bunch of butter. All right, Darcella, let's go. All right, taste up our kingfish. You gotta taste it too. I am. Oh, you want He's the like, see what Darcella thinks. Oh, I'm not, not eating this kingfish. Forks. You're not gonna eat this kingfish. <laughs> you just did all this effort and work. I know. It's not very white cooked. <laughs> Sounds like think it was very uh, gray. I mean, it tastes pretty good to me. Mhm. Mm I got like the slightest scent of fishy taste. Yeah. Like slight, like. Slightly fishy, but besides that, like once you put this in your mouth, this is all really good. <laughs> I think it's a testament to like, if you put enough crap on something, you can make anything taste good. The provolone mm -hmm. is really what's doing it, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you saw we did tons of butter, tons <laughs> of cheese, tons of sugar, and it's perfect. You can eat anything. Don't forget the ma mayonnaise and the breadcrumbs. Oh yeah. All that unhealthy stuff for Brian. That's why there's no side thing. That's why you didn't want to make any dip, but we still use mayonnaise. That's funny. <laughs> but obviously, you guys, you see we're devouring it. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty good. Like, it's pretty good. Ryan won't <laughs> stop eating. So, kingfish is good. Make sure you have it fresh. You can cook it any way you like it. And we can see we dolled it all up to make it extra good. But it's very good. No complaints here. It's delicious. Yeah. So, thanks for joining us on today's adventure. We have a lot more adventures heading your way real soon. And until then, follow, follow your dreams dream and keep, keep on, on catching. catching. And eat your kings. Yeah, it's good. More provolone. <laughs>